Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Building in El Morn and today's video is going to be very easy, very quick. It's building this really cool tower behind me. It's a little watchtower um, that we set up to guard one of the waterways heading in to the Hamprey Valley. So without further ado, let's just jump straight on into the time lapse so you can see how I built it and we'll get on with the video. All right, so to start off building this awesome little watchtower, I used a mixture of travertine blocks, granite, and polished granite for the base, and built up a nice little gradient leading to dirty white plaster. Now, I chose these blocks because this watchtower belongs to the city of Aislung, and the block palette for that city consists of lighter stones to signify dignity and wealth beyond measure. Now, if you think about it, in older history, a clean home where the tutor maintained its original colors was seen as a sign that you had the money to actually maintain your residence. As such, I wanted Aislung to be the shining example of this, even though there are some secrets and darkness within its walls. We'll get to that in a later video. Moving back to the build, you'll see that I added some darker wood logs to the top to really bring in a touch of medieval vibes, as well as crafting the signature blue roofing that Aislung's known for. Now this build was a lot of fun to create, and I couldn't be happier with the outcome. I also wanted to bring up that we've had a fair increase in subscribers to this channel, so whether you recently joined, are thinking of joining, or just watching this video because you're bored, I wanted to thank each and every one of you who support this channel, whether it be in Discord, Patreon, or even in the comments below. We're hoping to get to 3,500 subscribers by the end of this year, which I think is very obtainable, so let's all try to make that happen. Let's band together and get that going. Now lastly, if you are curious about the Discord or Patreon, the links will be in the pinned comment for easy access. Thank you again for everything you do, and let's just keep building some awesome stuff together. Now, I'll keep it short now, here's some music, I'll meet you again for the walkthrough. All right, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that time lapse, but now it's time for the walkthrough. So let's just dive straight on into it. And as you can see right here, this guard tower, watchtower, whatever you want to call it, is really, really cool. Now, if we look on the journey map, you can see here we have a slung, and this is all pretty well guarded. There's no issues with any of this, but this does have a little waterway that could kind of tie in for rebels to sneak into or something like that. So I decided to build this watchtower right here on this little inlet, and that way it could be heavily guarded from this one area. Now, right here we have the tower, and we have a small little barracks. So without further ado, let's just go straight on into it. So as you can see here, it has a small opening. If you were to cut up on this path, we just have a few decorations, not too much, but we will get to that in just a little bit. Now, if you go up this winding, beautiful path, we have a few uh, like potatoes growing, just basic stuff, but we have this very beautiful yet simple architecture for this style of build. And keeping with Aislung's colors of lighter stones and things like that, I think it really comes out well. Right off the bat, let me show you the outside. So of course we have a well, gotta have a well, gotta have some fresh water here. And then if we go down this way, we actually have another small little farm area with some potatoes because, you know, baked potatoes and stuff like that are absolutely delicious. We have a grindstone, small little place for the soldiers to kind of hang out, have a drink in the sun, 
nothing too crazy. Now, if we go across this tiny little bridge that crosses over this waterway, it's, it seems almost unnecessary, but it is here. Um, we have yet another uh, signal fire, essentially. Now, I did take this from one of my prior videos. I just copy and pasted it in, but it definitely works all the same. So you can see they would light this on fire, use the bellows to really get it pumping up, and this way the smoke would signal to Aislung that there are invaders on the approach. We have this really cool archway here and a little opening right over here that you can't really see, but there it is. Pretty simple. So now without further ado, let's go straight on into the actual building itself. Now, as soon as you walk inside, we have the barracks. And this is going to be where the soldiers sleep, where they have some, you know, uh, their own personal chest. They have swords. They have daggers. Just kind of small stuff. This is not meant to, like, repel an entire attack. However, it is there to just hold them off long enough for Aesung to send either reinforcements or just to get Aesung ready and then be sacrificed and... and, and, and the meantime um <laughs> but this is pretty much it um we have beds we have chests we have some paintings that are actually not glitched out this video which is nice uh but without further ado now let's go into the actual tower itself so i tried to make this tower very very medieval like very realistic we have this large uh wooden pillar that goes all the way up to the tip top down here we have some food items we have some uh spears but mainly this is going to be where the additional food is stored it is going to be at the bottom it's going to be cooler and that is where you want your fruits and vegetables and meats to be um, but going up the stairway here we have the second layer and then we have these awesome arrow slits now of course you know yes the view is a little condensed but you know use your imagination it would technically be a little wider easier to shoot out of but we got plenty of arrows here we have bows once again this main support pillar going up to the other floor so now we go up to the third floor and once again we have some snacks apples um <laughs> both same thing arrows bows i mean it's a pretty repeated layout but i think it works really well especially with um it being so condensed it definitely works out in the favor of this build and if we go all the way up to the top we have a small little map which i thought was a cool little touch that's so the leader of this area and you know his fellow soldiers can kind of go over strategies and figure out what's best and then of course we have these now these are gates they do not open because of the windows um, but use your imagination once again it could open up and you know you could shoot out of it i mean technically you could shoot out of these as well but i thought it was a really nice fortification type decoration and i think it really turned out well but yeah that's pretty much the tower um like i said it is very medieval it's not as fantasy-esque as other videos that i've had but i think it works out just fine at the end of it and what i'll do is i'll just do a quick little flyover for you and i know you saw some of those videos whenever the uh, it just started but this is the area so we did the outer wall made it multi-layered pretty defensible we have this small little water inlet that just kind of channels in and I'm planning on building maybe a little bit more on this backside here, but this is this is it. And I'm really proud of how it came out. We built it on stream the other day, and it only took about an hour and a half, which was really, really cool. But yeah, I just think it's an interesting location. It definitely works. We have some holes in the wall, as you can see there. Just small little tidbits to add that it's been kind of broken down, repaired over time. And yeah, that's, that's essentially it. So, um... Either way, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. Um, this was a very nice, quick and easy build. Really enjoyable. Adds a good atmosphere to this world. So thank you so much, just like always, for tuning in. Um, we are obviously going to have more videos coming out. Uh, but this is Legendary Purpose signing off. I hope all of you have a good day and happy gaming.